Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Tech Team Trunks channel, where we're going to tinker and learn. Today, we're going to learn how to create a multi-boot USB flash drive. Uh, basically, this is really crucial for these next stages in the channel that we have this tool on hand. I've done this in the past, more or less. I may have made a video or two, or and it may be in the archives or whatever. But we need an updated video, and this is just kind of that, just kind of so that we have that in the place. The tool we'll be using is yummy multi-boot usb creator it's uh what we use to create the multi-boot usb some of the projects on this channel will require the usb to install and run live disks of various operating systems so essentially what this does is it gives us options like we can add isos to the stick or we can remove isos from the stick as as we please and uh depending on the nature of the project so i have several versions of windows that i want to run on these old machines so um the most important thing is uh, the whole idea behind the channel is if I have a technical project to do, I share it here. Be sure to subscribe. If you're not subscribed, share the video and like the video on your way in. Your support is greatly appreciated, and I really appreciate it. So without you know further ado, uh, you, know, you can visit my link tree and all that good stuff. But I'll pause that for now, and then I'll start the intro. All right, and uh, of course, once again, if you haven't subscribed, check out your subscriptions and your support is greatly appreciated. Like the video on the way in, and we will proceed with the show. All right, so I'm just running this program called Yummy. It's a pen drive Linux XFAT. Um, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to select the USB drive that I have inserted into my laptop, and then it's going to set up the laptop, wipe the disk, recreate a drive, and all that stuff. So that's basically what that message is telling you. And uh, it's preparing bootloader files, etc., and all that good stuff. Um, autoplay will come up, as you can see down there. There's some autoplay messages coming up. So once you do this, your disk is prepared. That's the first step is you got to prepare the disk. Uh, the next step is um, this is where you put your distros on the disk, put your ISOs on the disk. Um, it copies them over and then expands them and you know, puts them in a format that could be, you know, read by the disk that you're making. Uh, so, you know, I'm just going to install basically for the projects that we're going to do on this channel, make sure you're subscribed. Uh, we're going to have Windows 10 installer. I'm trying to find a Windows 11 installer. Uh, I'm going to run, try to run some Windows XP at the lowest grade and at the highest, maybe some uh, Linux distros. So this is where you would select the ISO that you want to put on your um, memory stick. So I'm putting Windows 10 on there currently. And uh, basically, you want to select. I had it selected wrong. So I have to reselect it again. Now, get this. When you select that again, make sure you select the right one the first time because it'll knock your information out. So I had to re put it and, uh, you know, knock the ISO file and, uh, you know, location and everything out. So what's going to happen is you're going to hit create. And it's going to copy over the uh, ISO from the desktop to Windows installers. It's like a temporary directory that Yummy uses to prepare the ISO for usage on your USB stick. Um, so I'm going to let the process run. And uh, so we can see what it looks like. And then when you're comfortable enough, you could take this in your own lab and uh set up your own usb stick it works great i do want to say that um i took the uh acer uh aspire r11 that blue little uh combination tablet pc notebook thing i actually got windows reinstalled on it using this yummy stick that i'm creating here so it actually works and it's pretty cool 
So one of the things that you got to have is um, a device to kind of test it on and um, that sort of thing before you go into your, um, your real environment on the stuff that you're actually working on. So I kind of use that device as my test dummy, so to speak. Um, now this process, it's a big file. It's going to take a while. So what's going to happen is I actually uh, stopped recording and then I started recording again just so we can see the process complete. And then uh, and we can see what it looks like. But this is just basically showing the process on uh, how to create the ISOs. Um, make sure you check your subscriptions. If you're not already subscribed, YouTube does funny things with subscriptions, but I'm going to keep your subscriptions up to date. Uh, I want to keep you guys up to date on some of the projects that I'm doing and that stuff. So uh, this channel is a story. So you subscribe to keep on board. I'm just one human being doing tech. All right. Um, so it's almost done. And um, what happens is it just closes that little dialog box. And then another dialog box pops up when this process completes. So we'll just wait for this to complete and uh, we should see that uh, Windows 10 22H2 ISO is on the disk and it's in the disk in its own format or whatever they have. It, it's like it's two disks in one. That's kind of what Yummy does. It's a boot partition and then the content partition, I imagine, but the process is complete. Now, here's the thing. If you want to add, you can add and then, or you can uh, remove it. All right, check it out. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel, share the channel, like the, like the video, the whole idea behind the channel is that if I have a technical project to do, I share it here and you're more than welcome to watch. It's just, you know, I'm walking you into my home and we're having a good old time doing tech. Uh, your support is greatly appreciated. Thank you very much. And without further ado, we'll close this out. Thanks for watching and have a great day.